All right, so I want to talk about John Who. John Who's a uh, newest addition to For Honor, our newest ruling character out of the year three characters, and uh, I John Who's definitely polarizing. I really like John Who, but at the same time, I don't like John Who. He makes me mad. He's very frustrated. He's kind of difficult to play, which is nice, but. Sometimes the reward doesn't feel there. All that risk and not a lot of reward. Since I've been playing John Who, um, how I feel about him in terms of like viability and stuff like that, I'm no pro player or anything like that, but I feel John Who is uh, in the middle of the road. If not, he's a little on the weakish side. He doesn't really have too much going for him or anything like that. And uh, nothing super, super crazy. Unless you want to talk about his unblockable lights, which aren't even that crazy. His uh, play style, he's he's pretty much, you know, as you'd expect. He's They labeled him a counter-attacker. He is definitely a counter-attacker. John Hu doesn't really have any real offense or anything like that. Or, yeah, there's no real offense. You pretty much just sit there and wait for those dodges and you kind of get into a little bit of a mix up there and you kind of just try to confuse people and everything at least from how i've been playing him but john who's pretty fun in uh team fights and ganks and whatnot at least in my opinion i have fun fighting with him uh, especially being outnumbered sometimes that's like really really fun it might just be me though i might it might just be because i thrive on that sort of stuff but uh and then John Hu's role in For Honor, I don't really know. I'm no competitive player, so I can't really say where exactly John Hu fits in terms of his role. But for me, I've always enjoyed when I play John Hu, I've always enjoyed taking John Hu into a team fight or just going mid and clearing until I get my feats. And then I just go out and do something else. And for me personally, John Hu and doing that is just fun. I enjoy that. But then again, I play lots of Tiandi, Kensei, Nabushi, Shinobi. So if anything, that probably has a big impact on, you know, me playing this character. And then uh, on top of that, the character, despite being new and somewhat like, I guess somewhat of a fresh character and everything like that, a lot of the moves kind of just feel dead to me. I don't know why. A, a lot of them just don't feel like they could be used very often or at least very reliably. And it kind of just depends on your enemy just really goofing. And this that's pretty much it. But uh, John Hu also has some pretty, like, John Hu has some pretty nice armor, I'm not gonna lie. Like, for the Dai Li, he's, uh, he's, he's pretty amazing. But his weapons, on the other hand, ah, I mean, they're... They're, they're all right, but like the weapons, no. And it, his armor, yes. Like his armor is, oh my god, his armor is to die for. I, 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 I think I play John Who solely for the armor. That nothing else, just for the armor. I don't even care about anything involving John Who. Just the armor in general. It just looks so nice. But uh, John Who is a. Is, in my eyes, it's a character that struggles a lot, and it's a character that will struggle a lot. Character, like every other character, is not perfect, and, you know, has a lot of problems and everything like that, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, with John Who, I feel like, I, I feel a lot more problems, and I feel like there shouldn't be problems, since this, especially since this is the last character, and, you know, Yubi's had time to get their stuff together and everything like that, but, personally... Me, I, I feel like the character could definitely use some like major improvements that would help make the character a little less frustrating to play. And uh, with me, I just feel like the character should just stay the way he is, right? But they just need to add some things onto him. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe for one, they could add some iframes to his dodge attacks. I feel like that would definitely help out and it would uh, be a lot less frustrating to play if he had some more iframes on his dodge attacks. And then variable timing dodge attacks. I don't understand why his dodge attacks are only one, or, or they're just set at one little setting. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever, especially since it's a dodge specialist. So I feel like, you know, 
some variability in those dodges would help him complete that dodge attack specialist. And then I, I feel like I know why he's labeled as a dodge attack specialist because you know he has a bunch of different dodge attacks, right? That he he has to be like the dodge attack specialist along with Tiangi, but like. I don't know, I'm just not really feeling that with him, even though like the only thing I do with him is dodge. And then on top of that, I'd, I'd just add some more damage to him, because like, as of right now, to me personally, John Hu just feels like parry bait. Even when I'm playing with, even when I'm playing like, without my brain functioning, I, I just feel like John Hu's parry bait. I don't have many problems fighting John Hu's. The only times I really have problems fighting John Hu's is when there's multiple of them and I'm trying to figure stuff out with John Hu and everything like that. So I'm still learning, you know, what to do with John Hu and everything. I'm goofing off. I'm just pressing random buttons sometimes seeing, you know, I'm, I'm testing to see if maybe this move works good with this move or if maybe if this is a good mix up or something like that. It just, I don't know. It, it just doesn't, it, it don't feel right. That's, that's the only time I really struggle with them too, uh, when there's multiple of them. But the character hasn't been out long, so of course everybody and their mother is going to struggle. And uh, on top of that, I'd also add some damage, because like I said, he's parry bait, and if you're gonna be parry bait, at least at least give him like you know somewhat memorable damage. Because as of right now, his damage just feels really abysmal, especially on his dodge attack, which is what 14, 14 I believe, 14 damage. So you dodge something and you know you get your dodge attack in, that's 14 damage right there. That's some big damage, uh real big damage. And uh that's that's uh like some of my biggest problems with John Who. It's not the biggest problem, but it's some of my biggest problems and if if that too, like maybe this one I, I don't care too too much, but I mean if they increase the damage and stuff like this, I wouldn't care too much for this next one, but if they added some speed to John Hu, like if they made him a little faster, then I feel like, you know, this whole parry bait thing wouldn't be a big issue and he wouldn't need more damage. I only feel he needs damage because everything he has feels super slow to me. And then uh, on top of that, I'd give him some better recoveries. I feel like John Hu needs better recoveries. I'm not too sure why. I think it's just because with the Wulin, they're very elegant, they're very graceful, they're very slick, and you know, I'd expect them to have, I wouldn't expect them to have high recoveries. Not that John Hu has super high recoveries, but like, they could be a lot better, in my opinion, at least. Um, but my biggest complaint with John Hu, the hitboxes. Not the damage. No, not lack of iframes, no, not the uh, missing variable timings, not the fast recoveries, not the slow, or not the want of the desire for faster recoveries, or the desire for more speed, but the hitboxes. There have been times where I'm playing John Hu, and because I didn't do my attack from the left, which hits better for some reason than from the right, my my attacks will just go straight through people who are standing right in front of me because I didn't do it from the left. And it's actually really, really, really annoying. It, it is the one thing that makes me mad. The zone has good, has a pretty good hitbox and everything, and so does the left. I don't know why left attacks do from the left guard, but it just does. So, from... Of those two are like the only moves that have any good range or any good hitboxes so but they're pretty slow like an unblockable heavy uh, from the left his chain uh, his finisher heavy it's not going to you know that's not going to be something you can always rely on and his zone is 600 milliseconds so I mean you you'll get the zone in every now and then but like and it's undodgeable too so you'll get the zone in every now and then but you can't really rely to get your zone in that much either so you have to play you you have to really throw a lot of stuff from the left and if not you just kind of like screwing yourself over which isn't fun at all and uh those those are like the biggest things and then also something else that i'd like is uh the subduing counter blow I was really hyped when I first saw that. Like, I was screaming because I was like, oh, this looks crazy. Like, this has got to be some new kind of bash or something like that. 
I'm curious if it confirms damage or whatnot, and just reading it when the move set was leaked. And then when all that happens, uh, when it all comes out, turns out you can only get it off of a deflect and it doesn't even confirm damage. It just blinds them and it lets you continue the quote mix up. But I mean, with so many like slow and dead moves, which is what I'm gonna keep calling them, it's uh, it doesn't really feel too helpful. Me personally, I'd want that to become like a parry punish. Just like how Jang Jun has his choke off of a parry, you have the option to choke. I would like for John Hu to have the option to use subduing counter blow off of a parry. Why? Because why not? I mean, it looks cool. It's, that's it. I mean, it doesn't confirm anything, so it's not like... I mean, that's also another problem, the fact that it does not confirm anything. I feel like it might need to confirm something for it to actually be useful, or maybe it go into a wall splat or something like that, but I feel like, you know, subduing counter blow it would see a lot more use if it was also a parry punish on top of a deflect. That's me personally, and then they make it so... It has the potential to confirm something instead of you know you use subduing counter blow and then you know you throw a heavy and they may or may not fall for it or you throw a light and they may or may not fall for it like it it's cool in theory and everything but it just i don't know it's real iffy and then the absolute amplitude which is the zone that's the name of it absolute amplitude if that stays like exactly how it is I, I, I want that to become an unblockable. Like, I, I would be perfectly fine if it just was unblockable, undodgeable. I'd be perfectly fine with that. It's 600 milliseconds, so I don't think it'll catch many people. And with the unblockable, it might make it a little more threatening, but based on, you know, how we've seen the whole 600 MS light, unblock, uh, light unblockable, I don't think it'll be super threatening, so I think it'd just be fine to tag the unblockable status on it. Or, what they could do is just speed it up. Because there have been times where I've played and I'm surrounded by people, and I start to throw out my zone and somebody throws out an attack and pokes me right out of it. And it gets very annoying because I want to push people away from me. Essentially, I, 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 I don't want to say I play them like Kensei when I get ganked, but I kind of do play them like Kensei when I get ganked. When I get ganked as Kensei, I'll usually just throw out a zone to get people off of me. Or to get some space in between me and the people, right? Which is what I assume most Kenseis do. And John Hu, I tried the same maneuver because, you know, John Hu's got the big sword. Like, I do the same thing with Jang Jun too, if I can. And I just try to get people off of me and away from me, but... Uh... But Jang Jun and... Kensei, what they have is, Kensei has speed on his, so his is pretty fast, and on top of that, most people are going to get hit by it, unless they're already, like, preemptively blocking, or they expect it, and Jang Jun, his is slow, but I mean, his does, his, uh, most people, at least for me, they tend not to do much about it, especially if you target switch, and that's kind of the case with John Hu, too, but John Hu's just feels a lot more clunkier, I don't know why. It's just so weird, but if the zone doesn't become unblockable, some, uh, something else, like an alternative, is maybe just speed it up a little bit. I don't think speeding it up will hurt. I mean, of course, you're going to get people who complain, but it's for honor. Who doesn't complain? Like, I'm complaining right now, pretty much, but I'm, I'm doing it a little more constructively, or at least I think so. And then uh, another thing, which was really, really, really shocking to me was the unblockable lights. I remember when I first, when they first confirmed that the Wulin would have unblockable lights, because my friends and I, we theorized that this character would get unblockable lights due to the, uh, due to the leaks. And we were pretty much, or he was pretty much right. So, uh, I was like, okay, this will be interesting. Uh, obviously, I knew they were going to be like 600 MS, and I was like, okay, so this is fine. We'll see how it works and everything like that. And now that we have it, I feel like even though we're supposed to be moving away from 600 MS, like, and I get why they do this, but we're supposed to be moving away from 600 MS lights. Like, they're, they're still, they're still kind of parry bait and tagging on a, an unblockable symbol. I don't feel that really helps with uh, 600 MS lights. 
Uh, that just, I mean, it just means if you're like really not paying attention, then you're going to get hit by it. Because it's still 600 MS. You have, you have a fair amount of time to react to that. And on top of that, if you parry it, you get your light parry punish off of that. So whatever your character get, especially like, let's say you play Lawbringer, because a lot of people play Lawbringer, you get at least 50, you get like 50 damage off of that. And that's off of parrying a 600 millisecond attack, which is very, very saddening that it feels like we're almost going backwards a little bit. I, I personally, I want to, I want to, I want them to play around with the unblockable light. I want it to either, I want to see it at 500, uh, 550 milliseconds and see how that works. And I also want to see it at 533 milliseconds and also see how that works. Because I feel like those would be interesting numbers to put them at. And I feel like it offer enough challenge, but it might also be enough leeway so that, you know, it's not like, it's not for the people who can't deal with like Orochi light spam. So it's not, you know, too overwhelming for them. But at the same time, it still challenges them. So they can't just sit there and do nothing. But I, like I said, I understand the safety, but I just feel like it's just not working. And I'm also kind of disappointed that this character is not as great as Black Pryor in terms of like viability. And like, say what you want, but like Black Pryor, he's not my favorite character, but Black Pryor is really strong. And it's weird that, you know, after after Black Pryor, they just toned down every other hero after him and it got progressively worse. And I mean, that's something else I want to talk about in a different video, but it's just, they just all progressively got worse. And this character is, I'm not going to say this character is the worst because they've been out for like a week, but right now he's not looking super hot and not a lot of people, of course, are going to play him. I, I, I don't really expect people to play him because he's a Wulin and the Wulin just aren't very popular in general, but I, it, you know, you'd figure the new character you're bringing to the Wulin might get some more traction and everything like that. Not at all. Didn't really catch much attraction except uh, the people who just love the way he looks. So unless you're a masochist or you love the way he looks, then I don't really see too many people playing him because him being fun is completely fun in general is just very subjective. But a lot of people want the easy victory and this character, you really have to work for those victories. And that's really all I've got to say. That's that's just my opinion, though. Uh, if you got an opinion, like go ahead, drop it in the comments, and you know, let me know. Let's talk about it. I want to see your opinions. So I've said my piece, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching.